Hello, my name is Chris, and today we're going to take a quick look at how to display data with a word cloud using wordclouds.com. First, we need to upload the data into the word cloud generator. You can do that by clicking on File and then choosing Open Text File. Next, navigate to where you put the data file on your computer. I have mine on my desktop. Click on Upload, and just like that, you have a word cloud. But there doesn't seem to be many words in this word cloud. Aha, there are 10 words missing. Let's move this slider to the left so that all the words in our data set are included in the word cloud. Now that's better. But the word cloud still looks a little random. So I'll go up to the shape button and see what other possibilities exist. You can experiment with the different alternatives, but I'm going to use a box to concentrate all the information into one area. Once again, I'm missing some words. A quick move of the slider to the left will recover the eight missing words. Now that everything is looking a little bit better, it's time to do a little bit of formatting to guide people's attention to the most important information in the data set. I can change the color of my word cloud here. First, I'm going to change the background color to white, so it'll be easier to print out my word cloud later on. Then I'm going to use a blue color gradient to show the relative frequency in which the words appeared in the data set. I'm going to use dark blue as my starting point so that the most frequent words in my data set will appear in a darker color. The end point will be light blue for words that appear less frequently in the data set. All right, things are looking better. But one thing I don't like is the orientation of the words. This random pattern is a bit difficult to read. So I'm going to select the direction of the words button. Once again, you're provided with many options that you can experiment with. Myself, I like the clean horizontal look. Now we've successfully created a word cloud that guides people's attention to the key information in the data set so that they can make a data-driven decision concerning the traits that employers are looking for on new graduate resumes.